Today we're going to show you how to grid your photo in Photoshop. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a grid pattern with my fill bucket on my photograph. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go check the image size of my photograph to make sure that the image size is set to the correct scale. My image should be 1800 by 2400 pixels in size, a width of 6 inches, height of 8 inches, and a resolution of 300. Okay, and so our image is set that way and we're good. And so the next step we can do with our image is we can create a new layer on our image. And when we do that, we want to make sure that the color inside of the layer is set to none. And this new layer can be just called layer one. It doesn't really matter. And we can hit OK. OK, now when we do that, you'll notice over here in the layers palette, that we now have a layer on top of our background, which is the image. At this point, what we're going to go up is File, and we're going to go New. Okay, and we're going to open a new file, and we're going to call this Quarter Inch Grid. Okay, we set the preset to Custom, and we make the width in inches 0.25 inches by 0.25 inches. And that's going to be exact in terms of a quarter inch by quarter inch grid. And we want to absolutely make sure we set the resolution of this little new document to 300 pixels per inch because that's going to correspond with our photograph. And we want to make sure the background contents are set to transparent. And at this point, we're going to say OK. And when we do, we will have an automatic little image show up and there it is. So at this point we have a little tiny square and what we're going to do is we're going to just say select all which is going to put the dancing ants around the entire square and then we're going to go up to the edit function and we're going to put a stroke in of a certain color. Now depending on your photograph you can choose um, the color here. Now we're going to set the width of our stroke. The stroke is going to be a line that is around the entire perimeter of the box. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose the color of white, but you can go black or red or anything that would show up well on your photograph. I'm going to set that to inside on location, blending normal, opacity 100%, and now we are going to hit OK. And when we do, what you'll notice is that this little grid square, if we were to zoom in on it. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our edit button again. And we're going to just say define pattern. And when we say define pattern, it's going to take this little document that we created, the quarter inch grid square, and we're going to make it turn into a pattern. And I'll call this one quarter inch grid. And now I'm going to say OK. Now when I do that and I'm in my fill bucket mode, I can change fill bucket normally shows up with foreground as the default. But if I change this to pattern, I now have a series of patterns in this palette here. And if I use this little tiny V-shaped button to the right of that, I can come down here and I can find my quarter inch by grid, it's 75 pixels by 75 pixels, and I can select that. Okay. And now what we will do is we will go back to our photograph of my daughter. I'll make sure I have a blank layer on top of the photograph, and I'll simply click the fill bucket on top of her, and the grid will impose itself onto the image at one quarter inch by one quarter inch size. I would then recommend at this point that you take go up to layer and flatten image. And in flattening the image, it's going to press that grid layer on top of the photograph before printing. And at this point, it will print and you should print it true to scale and your grid should print right on top of this photograph to be able to work. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Take care.